Hey guys, welcome to week two of the Let's Pop Shop series, where you will learn everything you need to know to master the art of selling at pop-up events. And by pop-up events, I really mean any type of festival, market, farmer's market, any type of event where you're going to be selling products as a vendor in person, that's what I'm referring to. So for today, in week two, we're going to be taking a look at two topics, and that is how to find inspiration, where to find inspiration for your vendor booth setup, and how to plan the most magical booth possible. And in addition to that, we're also going to take a look at my favorite go-to website for ordering the displays that you can bring to your pop-up event and help display your products. So with that, in case you missed it, week one, we talked about where to actually find these types of events and also how to plan your year, your schedule, how many events to participate in. So if you missed that, I will link to it in the description bar down below. But with that, let's dive in. Actually, you know what, before we do, I'll just let you know what's coming on the horizon. So week three and four, we're going to be talking about how to actually promote your event leading up to the event day, how to get your existing followers, subscribers, and also your customers, maybe in your email list, to actually want to come and show up to your event in person. And we will also be covering where to find products for potential upselling at your vendor booth as well. So with that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. And let's dive into today's topic. So first, let's take a look at my favorite website to find displays. So this website is called displays2go.com. So with that, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are on the displays to go website and what I'm going to do is quickly show you guys my favorite collection and they do offer all sorts of other products. So I'll point out a couple of others in just a moment, but my favorite collection, it's under retail merchandising and then shop collections by style and you'll scroll down and you'll notice they have all sorts of collections. So if you're interested in more of the boho style or the rustic style, you can check out those collections on your own time. My favorite collection is this Dandelion Sustainable Displays collection and you'll see why in just a moment. So we, we're gonna scroll down. Here you can see some of these products or these displays displayed as if they're kind of set up at like a vendor event, which is really cool because it kind of helps you start to think about like what type of products you would put on what type of display. And I'm just obsessed with this collection. I think it's so pretty. I love the vibe and the aesthetic. And we'll just quickly scroll down. Um, I'm kind of eyeing this pegboard shelving display as my next purchase. I already do own a couple of items from this collection, but I love the pegboard shelving display because it comes in multiple sizes. And I think it's really, from my understanding, it looks like it's something that's really easy to break down because at these vendor events, you're gonna spend so much time like setting up and breaking down and trying to load everything into your car. So my rule of thumb is I always wanna find stuff that's like really easy to set up, take apart and transport. So I actually have these wooden tabletop risers and they do exactly that. One, they're beautiful. There's multiple ways that you can display them. You can stack them like this. But then what's even better about this collection is that you can break it apart really easily and then it folds flat, which makes it so easy for me to stick into a container and then carry and put in my car. And it's just amazing. I'm always like looking for things, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time like screwing and unscrewing things. So this is the exact type of thing I'm looking for at these events. So I think what's great about this collection is they have a lot of products like that. And then I also own their clothing rack and yeah, I'm eyeing several things. I'm kind of interested in this big sign. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's a custom sign, so you would, you, you would do your own display there. So it's a really great collection. I actually do have a discount code for you guys um, for this website, so I'll share that in just a minute. But first I wanna point out a couple of other things you, might got, you guys might be interested in. So they've got all sorts of signage. You can do all sorts of different custom signs and they've got all sorts of different sign holders. They've got um, portable counters and bars, table covers and runners. You can order a custom tablecloth. They've got storage cases, flooring, um, retail merchandising. I think you guys will spend a lot of time in this category because they have things like product dump bins, food merchandising if you sell food, grid walls. I see a lot of vendors use grid walls, so that could be a great way for you to display your products. And then if you have an iPad, you can get an iPad stand. They've got bat banners and flags. 
And then they've even got like digital signage. And if you are going to eventually open a retail brick and mortar, like an actual physical store, they've got a lot of great like permanent display cases as well. So I'll let you guys explore this website on your own time. They've got all sorts of good stuff. My discount code for you guys is actually going to be LG10 and it will give you 10% off of your order from now until April 14th. So you've got about a month to take a look at their products and place your order to receive 10% off. So I hope you guys um, will have fun, you know, exploring this website. They've got so many great things. But with that, let's move on to our next topic, which is all about inspiration for your vendor booth setup. So today I do want to show several examples of vendor booth setups, but if you fall into one of the four following categories, then I've actually already created a dedicated video that you can check out to look at examples just of that type of vendor booth. So I have a dedicated video for clothing vendors, for jewelry accessory vendors, for skincare vendors, and then also for food vendors. Now I will be creating additional dedicated videos as time goes on. So if you are, if you're a type of vendor that sells something like candles or makeup or, um, or artwork, then I could potentially be creating a video. If, if there's a type of product that you sell that you want me to create a dedicated video to, feel free to comment down below and I will add it to my list. So with that, let's start to take a look at several examples.
and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay on the lookout for all of the upcoming videos of this eight part series. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future video. And don't forget to check out displays to go.com to take 10% off your order. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.